There were moments within the piece where we asked audiences to do things and we frisked all of the audience for our very first show. So there was an immediate sort of human to human contact that, you know, I don't think we knew what we were doing. You know, I knew, I think, <laughs> I don't think we thought we'd be 30 years later still doing something. Welcome to season four of Art and Technology. I'm again joined by pioneer Juro Farr from Blast Theory and artist Francois Knutze. And one of the things that I'm really excited to speak to you both about today is the question of where ethics intersect with human-computer interaction. Well, yeah, it's a big one, obviously. Um, and I think um, it's changing all the time. And from a research sort of academic perspective, my definition of ethics would be that it's trying to minimize uncertainty and risk. And we're in a certain climate right now where people's safety, mental, physical, it's more in the foreground, I suppose, of culture at the moment. Francois, could you share your definition of human-computer interaction and where it intersects with the approach that you take? Yeah, I, th I think that the work that we've been doing with the Lode Film Factory um, in recent years kind of touches on that. And there's, you know, very powerful gatekeepers in terms of what stories are able to be told. There's a sense that certain stories are commodified and kind of packaged in, in a way for overseas audiences. And therefore, there's a very specific type of story that gets told. So what we try to do is to put the storytelling capabilities into the hands of participants for them to be able to create their own story from beginning to end without having to be bogged down by ideas of where the funding is coming from. I'd love to maybe now look a little bit more towards the future and kind of the evolution of human-computer interaction and its relationship to ethics. Oh, that's a big question. Well, I think an important thing to say is about where we're going. We're talking about uh, a lot of different economies and opportunities and accessibilities to technology. Since we've been starting to work with AI for the last couple of years, I was initially very concerned about what that meant about artificial intelligence or even things like leaving our bodies behind and being intelligences sort of without bodies and robotics and all of those things. I think those things are already with us and those things are developing at pace in terms of human computer interaction. Yeah, so I kind of tend to go to the <laughs> the more kind of dystopian view of things, just because I, I see it kind of happening already. And you know, I, I think that the scale and the complexity of the ethical concerns, you know, catalyzed by the invention of new technologies will continue to increase, particularly in the areas of, you know, extraction and of data mining and of intellectual property and security and surveillance. But my hope is that, you know, the ethics of human computer interaction will move towards a human-centered approach where the well-being of human bodies and minds is at the heart of the kinds of development and progress we strive to make. Thank you. It was an absolute pleasure to get to speak to you and to learn more about your work. Thank you so much. Thanks for the invitation and the opportunity. It's really a pleasure. Thank you very much. It was great to chat. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.